Hey, it's uh, Friday. It's the day before uh, the big race. Um, I'm here with Ryan Sands. We're actually just heading into town to get uh, the last of um, the necessities for such a big race. And we thought it'd be a good opportunity to ask Ryan his tactics and his thoughts on uh, tomorrow's race. So, uh, how are you feeling and what are you going to do tomorrow? Yeah, really excited for the big day, but also a little bit nervous. Obviously, it's 100 miles. Anything can happen out there. You can have a good day, you can have a, have a bad day, but going into the race, I'm pretty uh, confident, feeling good, my training's gone well, um, I'm feeling in, in good shape, so yeah, hoping I can um, have a good run out there tomorrow. Have you seen your opposition around, um, and you know, who, who are you going to be looking out for on the course? Yeah, there's obviously guys like, like Scott Jurek, who I'm sure will be really strong, a seven times Western States winner. Um, there's Michael Ash from uh, New Zealand, a two-time Olympian. Um, I'm sure they'll be, be pushing the, the pace a bit. There's also Ian Sharman and, and Nick Clark, who are um, super strong 100-mile um, runners. And I see you've been uh, keeping an eye out on um, all the weather that's going to be going down, and uh, you smile every time you see that it's going to be warmer. What's up with that? Yeah, I definitely think if it's, if it's hot on Saturday, it'll play into my favour. But then again, someone like Scott Jurek has won Western State seven times. That's um, a really a hot race, so I'm sure he can run in those, those conditions. But um, yeah, I'm hoping it's nice and warm and set up. I prefer the, the warmer conditions. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna gonna rain or anything like that. You might get a couple of afternoon thunderstorms, but um, yeah, so far it's looking looking good. And uh, your experience on the course is gonna help you. You ran here in 2011, managed to win it. Do you think that uh, will stand you in good stead this time around? Yeah, I definitely know know the course. Um, obviously, having run it once does does help. Uh, being a, being an out and back course is always um, interesting to kind of get to the turnaround point, and then you suddenly realise you've got to do exactly what you you've done, and it's still another 50 miles to go. Let um, me just put that into perspective for you. So it's like doing the comrades off road, but at about three times the height, and then turning around and doing it again. So it's a pretty tough race, um, to put it mildly. But uh, I think Ryan's up for it, and um, we're going to be tweeting it live through the whole race where there is reception and uh, get up early stay up late because it's that kind of race and um, hopefully you can lend some support to Ryan I'll even give it to him live on the road um, when we have the opportunity so yeah best of luck tomorrow dude cool thanks you're going to be able to uh, pace me and, and tweet at the same time I think after and before the pacing I'll try and tweet but not necessarily live <laughs> yeah we'll catch you tomorrow and uh, thanks for joining us over the week and we'll give a wrap up um, on Monday as well